Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves you with the true agape love. He wants to pour that love into your heart. Write that love on your mind. He wants to keep your heart and mind in perfect peace because he loves you. And he's pouring that love out by the Spirit of God who we hear Jesus by going to the Father. The Father has released the Holy Spirit into our hearts to teach us everything. You know, he, he shows us the way to walk out our soul salvation if we will hear his voice. See, we'll overcome the, the flesh, the devil, and the world if we hear by the Spirit who is teaching our spirit how to live in God and stay put in his love. <laughs> the Lord has given us perfect peace. He's given us rest on every side. Now, I didn't say that trouble wasn't going to be in the world and that it was just going to be okie dokie here. Uh, what I mean is that there's a peace inside of you. You cannot be moved from God. You can't be plucked out of his love. You can't be, you cannot be taken out of the Lord's hand. He loves you and he's got you covered. I, I, I think that we lose sight of the fact that we have everlasting life with God. This is about the judgment of God in the earth. The Lord wants all mankind to come to him. He is not willing that anyone should perish, but that all should come into him. From, from There was a time in the Bible where the Lord had said he looked around and he couldn't find a redeemer. He couldn't find somebody that would stand up and be sinless. You know, somebody that would absolutely believe him. He said, all these people, all, all the hearts and, uh, of mankind, they're wicked. See, there's something about us that turns to its own self and, and gets worried and fearful. We begin to have the nature of the enemy. The nature of one who is without God. But God has not given us a spirit of fear. He's given us his spirit. I'm so thankful that he sent Jesus Christ. His, he, he sent his son. He sent himself. He sent his word in this flesh and blood body so that we could learn. But, well, one, we needed a savior. We needed somebody who took the penalty of death and, and, and just bring grace into our lives, bring God's mercy into our lives. He, he, he stayed back the anger of God. He satisfied God's wrath, but that's only for a, a little bit of time. The window is only open so long. The door is only open so long, and Jesus is that door, that way into the Father. And, and everyone, everyone else, it, it, I, I want to say this world needs to see Jesus. And if they will not, if the people next door to you or the people on your job or your family members and friends, whoever it is that, that you see with your eye, that person that just rode by you on their bicycle or just rode by you and flipped you off in their car, if they don't receive Christ, they're going into judgment. God made judgment. He said, well, if you don't want me, then here's where you're going to go. Here's where you're going. You're going over there into darkness. You're going into the lake of fire. You'll be in a permanent place where you never have to look at my light again. You don't have to know me. You don't have to feel my presence. You ha you don't have to taste and see how good I am. See, in this world, we have daylight and we have the moonlight. And God made all of these things, even the stars in the sky, to give us light, I mean light, a glimpse of his image. Everything is made for God and by God and everything, <laughs> everything that is, that is in nature speaks of him. Psalm 19 talks about that. And he's given us, he's given us such great promises. You know, look, I'm saying all of this to tell us 
the nature of God needs to be in our heart. The Holy Spirit's revealing the nature of God in us as we're walking through the daytime, as we're sleeping in the night. So you see, but it all comes from this relationship that we have with the Lord, talking with Him and letting things go, picking up His Word. See, the Word brings life, it brings revelation, it brings light. Psalm 119, isn't it, that it says the Lord is my is a lamp unto my a light on my path, a lamp on my feet. I know I just said that wrong. But I'm always in a hurry in the morning because I have to open my door and go to work. But I want to get this word out that encourages us and helps us to walk strong in the Lord during the day. Because hard things are coming and hard things already are. There is so much going on in the world that we don't need to be defeated by what's going on in the world or what's going on with our body. We give this body to Christ. He's the healer. He has healed us. He's delivered us from all of our fears. There's no one greater and no one better. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world to strengthen you, to keep you throughout the day. And not just, see, and when I say keep you, I mean keep you from evil. Keep you from falling into temptation and telling somebody off. Or just sitting there looking just as depressed as the world. Or just as fearful as everybody else in the world that doesn't have God. We are the light of the world because we're in Christ. And if we're the light of the world, then I'm telling you right now, we have the very nature of God in our hearts. And that nature starts with his love. We can cast all of our cares to the Lord and he's going to perfect what concerns us. This is a promise of God. And we need, to, we need to so be about this, be about him, be about the word, be about worshiping him and getting the word in our face. That all of our actions, when somebody's walking by, we smile anyway. Now, I was in the gym on Saturday and I there was a lady standing in the bathroom and and she was an older lady. And I walked by to go into my saw. I looked right at her. She looked at me. And I kept on going right into the bathroom. And I stopped. And I heard it inside myself. That's rude. That, that's rude. And I, and I said, oh, hello, ma'am. Hi. <laughs> and I smiled. And she said, oh, hi. Have a good day. You know, you don't know how you're affecting someone's day. And remember the Bibles that talks about us entertaining angels unaware. You don't even know it. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. For he's forgiven us all of our sins and he's blessed us with all spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. I summed it up. <laughs> he's healed our bodies. He's delivered us from judgment. He's brought us into his house, and it's time for us to start acting like it. And when I say start acting like it, I mean look into the nature that is already in you by Christ Jesus. Go about doing good like he did. Like he does. Sorry about that. <laughs> like he did, like he does. Because he's still working in you and through you. Keeping him in your face. Keeping him on your mind meditating on this word day and night brings you into a fruitful place where you have peace and rest on, on every side though there's trouble in the world that trouble is not in your heart and not on your soul because you know how to cast your soul cast your cares before the lord he says that he works everything out together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose his plan and we're walking out that plan if we're walking out our soul salvation. Hmm? In the awe of God. We walk out our soul salvation in the A-W-E of God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. You have rest. You have everlasting life in his presence forever. But that starts today. The day you said yes to Christ is the day that started that you had life in God forever. You'll never be separated from him again. 
You'll always have the light with you. Hmm? But the light is in you. Trust the Lord today and get the word in your face. Love God because I'm telling you, he loves, loves, loves you. Oh, bless you all. Bye-bye.